What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today's video I'm going to be taking you guys on another trip to the thrift and like I tell you guys all the time these videos are definitely more of like a compilation of the past two to three days so if you guys are hitting some of these thrift stores and you're feeling discouraged because you're not coming across some really good stuff just be patient make sure that you guys stay consistent like I always say because for me I'm hitting up at least like five to six different stores in some of these videos so I'm just kind of putting together like a highlight reel so definitely don't feel discouraged keep going out there keep trying to find it as much stuff as possible but like i always tell you guys if you guys enjoy this content hit that like button subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get into it all right y'all so we starting this video off with a banger now if you guys follow the channel you guys know that i came across some of these uh orby routers maybe two or three weeks ago one actually sold a couple days ago for 150 and and once soon as i walked into this thrift store i came across three of these so definitely a really really good find especially for only 2.99 so when it comes to these, I just wanted to make sure that I actually had the power cables and everything like that included with it. And this was basically just somebody donated their complete set. So this was just a really good pickup. So went to a Goodwill now and I came across some more routers. Um, the downside to it is that sometimes some of these Goodwills, they're detaching the power cables from the routers. So sometimes you want to end up having to spend a little more on it, but it is what it is. Um, I was able to just grab up that one. I think that one was selling for like 30 or 40 bucks. Not a ton of profit, but I should be able to make some good money on that. And here was a pair of tuck shoes. And if you guys sell these shoes, you definitely want to use keywords like punk and gothic because, you know, that's the audience that's going to be kind of attracted to some of these types of shoes. Those sell for about 50 bucks. And once again, came across another set of Bose companion speakers. I was coming across a ton of Bose stuff for a few weeks in a row and that streak kind of ended, but came across some more good Bose stuff lately. So definitely stay tuned throughout the video. But this Bose set was missing the power cable, but for only 450, I definitely still gotta grab that up and like i told you guys earlier some of the routers i've been finding doesn't include a power cable so i had to grab that one up as well so here we are in a different goodwill and came across another bose wave radio now this one in particular doesn't have the um the power supply for it but the the power cord that it needs for this one is a very simple one that you can find in just about any thrift store for like a dollar or dollar fifty and they're only asking eight fifty for this one so i'm absolutely going to take a chance on this and even if it doesn't turn on or if it has some type of flaws with it these still sell really well for parts and here was another really good find came across a tamron lens and i'm thinking this one is for canon i think this is a canon mount i'm not exactly sure i'm gonna have to test this out pretty soon when with one of my older cameras here but this lens should sell for right around 80 to 90 bucks in this condition um it might sell for a little less since i don't have the lens caps but anytime i come across lenses I, I always do the research and check them out because some lenses have a ton of value others like some vintage lenses have barely any value at all so i always try to check the comps on any lens that i come across now checking out this goodwill i don't know if somebody had a temper tantrum and they broke all their systems or maybe maybe the, the goodwill broke them who knows but two broken systems i'm pretty sure this wii might still work because nintendo wii's are kind of not gonna say indestructible but just nintendo stuff usually does last for a really long time but with that crack i'm still gonna have to pass on it but this controller in particular i'm definitely gonna have to take a chance on this um these are selling for right around 20 to 25 bucks on ebay so i figured i might as well grab this one up so this isn't something that i usually would sell but it definitely grabbed my attention since it was brand new and it was only 350 for this so i went ahead and i used the ebay app and I just scanned the barcode on this one and I seen that they were selling for right around 30 to 35 bucks brand new and like I said this isn't something I usually would gravitate towards but anytime I'm in these thrift stores now I try to use that eBay app and just scan just about anything with a barcode just because it helps save some time so came across a pair of Air Max I believe these are the Air Max Hyperize um, I thought at first I thought these were a pair of LeBrons, but I was kind of disappointed when I typed in the style code on eBay and seen the comps were pretty weak on this pair. But overall, really good condition. Twenty five bucks for these. Pretty sure somebody would walk into this Goodwill and be super happy about finding these. But personally, in terms of resale, definitely not worth it to me. So in terms of something that's worth it, this pair of New Balances, I believe this was a pair of nine nine sixes 
pretty good condition. They definitely had some stains and some scuffs here and there, but they're only asking 10 bucks for this one. And these should clean up really well. And I should be able to get at least 100 bucks for these once I clean these up. So right next to that pair of New Balances was this pair of Cole Haan Spectators. And Cole Haan shoes just don't sell for as much as it used to, at least, at least in my opinion. Anytime I come across zero grands, I might still grab those up. But this pair in particular, I think it might sell, but it might just take a really long time. So I had to pass on that. Now, went to the hat section. I don't sell a ton of hats, but this Kango hat definitely grabbed my attention. I think this is called the Tropic Air. So it's perfect to sell stuff like this right now when people are looking for like spring and summer accessories. And I thought I actually came across two of them, but this one was not Kango. So since it wasn't Kango, I'm going to have to pass on that one. But this hat in particular for only $350, I should be able to sell that for $25 to possibly $30. Bucks. Now, this was a really good find. I haven't found anything from John Varvatos in a really long time and this is one of those clothing brands that holds its value pretty well but I'm gonna I'm be honest I know people probably make jokes about me all the time when I say I'm gonna be keeping certain stuff this jacket in particular sells for right around 80 bucks but as soon as I got home and I tried this jacket on I gotta keep it this jacket is fire so like I said I probably would be able to sell it for 80 to 90 but I'm gonna wear it for a little bit enjoy it and then I'll probably sell it. So this uh, sweater in particular, really dope as well. Definitely grabbed my attention. And as soon as I, I didn't know, I wasn't familiar with this brand. So what I did was I typed in um, leather Kooji sweater on eBay just to see what popped up. And this brand actually was the first to pop up. And the comps on it was selling for right around 60 bucks. So I'm going to price mine for right around the same price. And hopefully it sells soon because the seasons are changing. So a lot of outerwear, you, you kind of have to get it listed as soon as possible. So this was another really good pickup. Came across a Sony Handycam. And I haven't been picking up too many cam quarters lately mainly because i was getting a couple returns now just to be transparent with you guys i probably sold 10 camcorders in the last month and out of those 10 i ended up with three returns so i'm still shooting a pretty good percentage but at the end of the day i don't want to waste my time or the customer's time so i'm gonna have to really test this one out or i might just sell it for parts because i could still be able to pull 100 bucks if i sell it just as parts so definitely keep that in mind when you guys are coming across some of those camcorders so this was an interesting find i actually sold a couple of these when i lived out in california um this stanley aladdin thermos um so for some reason these thermoses are really like desirable and people are not spending a ton of money on it but you'd be surprised that you know people are still just trying to pick up these thermoses probably just for camping and stuff like that but just the fact that it had that little inner piece just the inner piece alone sells for about 15 bucks so this one is in pretty good shape i'm still gonna have to clean this up but i should be able to get about 40 bucks for that uh that thermos once once i clean it up of course now this is just one of those uh wireless chargers i'm definitely gonna have to grab this up just for the house because i have a couple that charge really slow and i'm definitely gonna need to upgrade that and this is just one of those Sony remotes and a Netgear power line. Now, both of these things, I think they're going to ask, like, I think the power line was 250 and the remote was 150. Um, the remote should sell for right around 15 bucks and that power line should sell for right around 30 to 35. All right, y'all. So this was the last Goodwill of the day for me. And I ended up coming across this Nintendo Wii complete with two controllers on the top shelf. And I don't know why somebody put it there. I don't know if they was trying to, uh, if they were just trying to hide it from me or what. But I'm super glad I checked out that top shelf because I'm absolutely grabbing that Wii. And this was just something that I also scanned on eBay. Uh, the comms are only selling for like 20 bucks, so I decided to pass on it. But that Wii is definitely coming with me. All right, y'all. So we are back in the crib. And I just wanted to show you guys a couple stuff that I wasn't able to get here on camera. Here are just two pieces of clothing. This is a pair of Miss Me pants. Uh, I was going to say Miss Me jeans. But for the most part, these are more like linen cargo pants. Pick both of these up for a dollar. And these are selling for right around 30 bucks right now. And these used to sell for way more profit, but just like any other brand, it kind of died down in terms of resale value. So I was able to get this for a good price, so I decided to grab that up. Next, we got a shirt from the brand Kari Tra. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that the right way. I definitely wasn't familiar with this brand at all, um, but the logo just kind of stood out to me, and the overall quality is what made me want to take a chance on it. And like I said, for only a dollar, it was worth the risk. And checking comps on these, they were selling.
selling for right around like 30 to 40 bucks for some of their base layer shirts kind of like workout shirts and stuff like that so definitely going to be getting this listed on ebay as soon as possible especially since it should bring in some decent profit and last but certainly not least i was able to come across another bose wave radio after testing this unit out uh the radio worked perfectly fine but the cd was seeming like it was giving me some trouble so i don't i'm probably just gonna have to sell this for parts make sure that i let people know that the cd player wasn't working but even if i sell this for parts seen some people sell theirs for like 90 bucks uh and they just listed it as parts so it still turns on it's still the radio still works but it is what it is and i was only and i only spent 10 bucks on this one so definitely worth the investment to me all right y'all that's all i got for today's video so if you guys enjoy that one don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace for the winner, cause you felt like you was losing. Only for the winner, who's just to keep from cooling? Like only for the winner, only for the winner, only for the winner. Boy, my heart is cold, and I'm too cool to sweat it. I shoulda never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm off this shit.